so the Yiddish press had, like a lot of presses, had funny pages and humor pages. Humorous stories were very, you know, were pretty common. Uh, you know, and the, and the stories are an aspect of um, Yiddish literature in general. Uh, I mean, there were also, you know, very tragic stories. There, you know, the Yiddish press has everything. Uh, it's you know it's not just humorous, but there are certain aspects to the Yiddish press that have sort of a humorous tilt, uh, which is a little bit unusual, and part of it has to do with the fact that the Yiddish press uh, was kind of a private conversation. People who didn't know Yiddish didn't read the Yiddish press, and so Jews, as a kind of cultural minority, uh, could use the Yiddish press to pretty much say whatever they wanted without much repercussion. Uh, now, obviously, this is doesn't work so much in the Russian Empire, where, where this press is censored uh, and restricted. But in independent Poland and in the United States and in a lot of other places like Argentina, South Africa, Australia, uh, or Western Europe, where you had you know where you also had you know burgeoning Yiddish presses during the early 20th century, uh, you have an instance, and this is you know. I think it's more prevalent in Poland than elsewhere, but you have instances where writers will write about things like crime or, you know, local scandals, and they'll write about these events humorously. And just as an example, they, uh, they'll use diminutives. When they talk about uh, an event, they'll you know, mention the people involved, the victims, the perpetrators, whoever it is, and you know, more often than not, they'll start off by you know listing their names, and this is just a, you know, this isn't a real example, that, but you know, the, let's say someone involved in some crime story's name is uh, Moshe Shapiro. You know, they'll mention you know Moshe Shapiro, you know, was caught picking the pocket of so and so, and then the, when the, as they continue to tell the story, they'll start calling him Moishele. Uh, which is, you know, cute and funny, but also very unusual in the realm of, of, you know, journalism. It's not, you know, that's not typically done. And what it reveals is a kind of intimacy that exists in the Yiddish press that may not exist elsewhere. Um, you know, you, you find this, uh, you know, really quite a lot in, uh, in, in, Warsaw, in the Warsaw Yiddish papers uh, where, you know, they... The journalists will will even sometimes make fun of uh, of people involved in, in in some sort of you know terrible episode, uh, and uh, it's it's a type of moralizing. Uh, you know, the, the, they use the articles in a way of uh, trying to tell people how not to behave, uh, and you know, in a way, they they make them funny. That uh, um, they make them funny in ways that you you may not expect. Uh, you know, I don't know if that comes through necessarily in translation, but when you when you read the articles themselves, they're uh, they can be they can be pretty hilarious.